Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My book review for you today is a late book. Yes, this has been out for a couple of weeks now. It came, oh, not a couple of weeks. It came out on the 6th, so it's just been out six days. It is called Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. Why is it called Killers of a Certain Age? Well, first thing I want to tell you is I was introduced by Deanna Rayburn by a series of hers and the, that series is going to continue I believe in January or February of next year I've already put in for the book on NetGalley but this one is different it's a standalone and it's about a group of four women it's pretty much a spy thriller okay with this book you have four women who when they were much younger they each got hired and they worked together as a team, individually, collectively, or even with others as paid assassins, okay? Now, I'm looking at the letter that came with the book and even though I've read that historical fiction series by her or historical mystery series, what are we reading with this book? Well, like I said, you've got the four women, four women that were paid to kill. But they didn't kill innocent people. They killed people who, and I'm going to use my hands, deserved to die. They could be former Nazis. They could be drug dealers. They could be arms dealers. That's what made these women successful and why they were very good at what they did. Now, the agency that they work with was codenamed the museum and they worked for this network for 40 years. Well, now the ladies are 60 years old and they discover something shocking. What do they discover? They discover that they are now the targets. Yes, a kill order has been put out on them and because of the kill order, they either have to kill or be killed. So they come up with an elaborate plan to stop this kill order. And by the way, I keep saying they and the women, they and the women. Let's talk about who, what their names are. They are Billy, Mary Alice, Helen, and Natalie. Now, as mentioned, there's a kill order. And this kill order originates from the museum, the museum that they have been working for for 40 years. Now, can these women find a way to turn the table or, you know, turn things around and stop them from losing their lives? Now, it's pretty much all in Billy's point of view and it does, the book does have some flashbacks and the flashbacks go to how they were hired, okay? But as engaging as this book was and as well written as this book was, why did I just pause? Because you read, as, as you're going through this book, as you're reading this book, okay? As you read in this book, what you're going to find is that these women were very, very good at their jobs. Okay, at their job. And they used very distinguished methods, methods that were always effective. And now they have to use the method, their methods on the, this professional organization that does nothing less than train training women or training assassins now they all have their own skill set and they're all quirky uh strong women who know what they're going to do and i'm telling you i i give pause because how do you praise a book that is all about murder how do you praise such a book because we know how God feels about murder. So how, how can I be smiling when I'm telling you about this book? Well, because of what the author did. I want to tell you what the author did. I'm going to the very first part of the book. 
and I'm going to tell you why I can say this. See the author's note? She says, some of the dates are misleading. Some of the names are lies. I'm not trying to protect the innocent. I'm trying to protect the guilty. You'll understand soon enough. So, I'm smiling because Deanna Rayburn has written a book so offhand, so entertaining, so sharp, that there was no way that I couldn't say that I, so that I can say I, how can I put it? Because I'm trying not to use a double, double negative. So that I can say that I thoroughly enjoyed this book. You know, and then when you imagine these women who are now 60 and they have to do things like maybe go through a tunnel or a scale wall or you know sneak into a hotel room things of that nature then their age starts to tell on them the question is will they ever find themselves able to have to achieve retirement okay now you have the author's note at the beginning, right? And then what I loved about this book is you have the author's second note, okay? Now, will these women ever be able to retire? Will they ever be able to get past whatever it was that triggered that kill order? And by the way, why was there a kill order? Why did they work faithfully for the museum for four decades and now there's a kill order? Excellent book. I just looked back because my cat opened the door and my husband's playing music in the other room. So, there you have it. Killers of a certain age. Yes, I'm smiling about a book about murder. Yes, the author took a lot of liberty in writing such an entertaining novel. Yes, she put four women my age as central characters in this book. And there you have it. Do you like Deanna Rayburn? Have you read any of her historical cozies? And by the way, I'm going to tell you what they are because I love them. And like I said, I've got book seven coming up. Uh, they are the Veronica Speedwell series. And I have that uh, either book six or book seven coming up in, in just a few months. As a matter of fact, I just put in a request for it. I'm just trying to tell you which one. I know that A Murderous Relation was book five. And... Oh, it's book eight. Book eight, A Sinister Revenge. Yeah, book eight is coming up. It comes up in March. So I love Deanna Rayburn. And and just to... I know that I, I concluded this review, but I just want to show you, uh, if I if I can what I was just looking at. Just in case you ever want to check something out. On Goodreads, if you go by the author's name, I, these this is her Veronica Speedwell series right here. It's these books here. So I, that's what I was just looking at. So when I saw Deanna Rayburn had a standalone that was not part of her historical cozy, you bet your bottom dollar I got it. So that's enough, that's enough. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for watching this video and let me know if you check out Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayburn. I'm not even going to edit this video to include the cover because I think I've shown the book enough, but thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.